Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and this one's about Gareth Southgate and Joe Gomez's injury that he picked up in training yesterday but before we get started, this video is sponsored by Tear Bear Printing use the word support on the discount code for Tear Bear and you get 10% off your purchase price go make sure you go do that anyway, let's get down to business Joe Gomez picked up a bit of an injury during training yesterday as I recorded it. and that's already added to Liverpool slight problems with Alexander Arnold, Fad Dyke and you know a big injury list up at Liverpool and Klopp has asked for the five sub ball uh, to come into the Premier League to protect the top players but you know that's another video if you want to see that let me know and I'll do a video on that but let's get back to the England side of things. Gareth Southgate said in his press conference yesterday about basically just you know uh, you know could they protect the football players more uh, if one of the uh, press asked Gareth and he said about yes we could have done they could have delayed the Premier League season they could have delayed the internationals they could have, you know in all these different circumstances that was a bit different to a normal sort of question from a you know manager at the top but what got me questioning this video is why is he booking all these friendlies you know he comes out of a question like that and he's booking all these friendlies but we well i notice i don't know whether you do put it down in the comments below if you do but with the england internationals more you know definitely is the fact of he's calling up the same players every time. I mean, okay, he called up Trip Alexander Arnold, Jordi Gomez, I think he's called up Corey Canby, Jack Greenlish. Jack Greenlish is the one of the players that do deserve a spot in the England team, in my opinion, obviously. But then you look at the keepers, you've got Dean, I think his name, Dean Henderson, who plays for United, Nick Pope. Jordan Pitford. I still don't know how Pitford's getting into that team. I question every time an international ball's kicked about Jordan Pitford. He was sloppy against Liverpool, against that foul with Van Dyke. He was sloppy against Brighton. He was slop he's been quite sloppy quite a few times. And you know, one game I can't remember what Everton game it was, but the Van Dyke tackle apparently did have a big impact on Jordan Pitford and he got sub, you know, he didn't play one game. But I'll guarantee you, well, I should have imagined so anyway, our game against Iceland, which is not sure whether that's even going to hedge yet due to the UK being in lockdown, is I think Pitford will start that game. I don't know how he's in the squad. If I had my number one keeper, I would go for Nick Pope. Purely because of the face of how confident he is in goal. And I'll probably put Pitford down my number three behind Dean Henderson. Because Dean Henderson, let's not get it wrong, has made a quite a good start at Man United after his loan spell for Sheffield United. You know, and I, go to, I sort of work out the formation. Harry Kane, yeah, OK, he's been in... Okay, goal scoring form, but where's the Charlie Austin call up? Where is the Callum Wilson call up? You know, V9, James Vardy. Okay, he's retired from international now, but you know, it's so hard to get a call up. And let's not forget, I thought it was 2018, but I think it's actually 2016, where England got knocked out against Iceland in the Euros. I'll get you quite confused this year because of, you know, I think it's supposed to be a World Cup this year. Not quite happening, but... Let's look at the team that basically played in that Euro 2018 Iceland defeat. So the squad was... This is the starting eleven: Joe Hart, Carl Walker, Gary Cahill, Chris Morning, Danny Rose, Daddy Alley, Eric Dyer, Wayne Rooney was captain... Daniel Sturridge, Harry Kane and Raheem Sterling. So I think 
think it's four players at that starting eleven still gets the England call up. And bench was on that day. James Milner, Adam Alana, Jamie Vardy, Nathan Klein, Fraser Foster, Jordan Henson, who's obviously staying in the England uh, lineup, and I think he's captain of England, if I'm not too far mistaken. John Stone, Jack Wiltshire, Ross Barkley, Ryan Bertrand, Marcus Rashford, and Tim Hilton. Uh, obviously, Burnley goalkeeper. But you still really do look at that lineup. And there are so many England, English uh, players out there that are talented to play for England. Like Sir Lewis Dunk, I know obviously he's, he's, he comes from Brighton, he was born with Team of Sport. And, you know, but he's not the only player I'm going to stick up for. James Tomkinson, uh, Burnley centre back. But there is no, you know, 25 man squad. We all know what the 25 man squad is going to be come the internationals. I know we've got a big game coming up against Iceland, and I've said that said that in this video already. But if that game goes ahead, what I'm trying to get is when are we going to start seeing, you know, the lights of the tally players coming through? And what I mean by the title of this video does go south, can't need this. The lights of Jordi Gomez, trips that is on line, being injured. And it does look like that Gomez will be out for the remainder of the season because of this injury that he picked up. I'm not sure quite how or, you know, how he picked it up. But I still get to the point of this is where you need to... Friendlies, it's friendlies especially. I don't agree with international friendlies. I don't think that should be played. But you have got to start thinking of... Well, what if this player gets injured? What if that player gets injured? What if this happens with... And this what gets me with the England uh, setup, especially, is you never get the real, you know, basic of a second right back, a second left back, a third right back, a third left back, and so on and so on. But I've seen so many internationals in uh, England England internationals that basically don't get called up to England. I've seen the likes of under twenty ones, Lampen, who's a, a Brighton a Brighton player, under twenty one England international. He has not got called up for the men's yet. Hopefully it won't be too long before he does. Um Buckingham I think his name is just signed for Dortmund not too long ago. He's just got a call up to the men's, but Gareth Southgate said he will probably go back down to the under 21s just to give him a bit of experience. What would you do that? What's the point of calling the player up going, well, you probably all go back down to the under? I don't get it. Yet again, another frustrating thing about the England system. Obviously, as I said, England Jews play tonight against. Who was it against? Common Rule England plan, but. You know, I think it's Ireland, Republic of Ireland, if I'm correct. If not, don't worry, you can correct me in the comments below as well. But I thought this video would just be fun to make, you know, just to talk about what the problem is with England. And the England set up in, you know, just general. I mean, how many times did we sit there going, 25 men England called up, we know who's going to be on there. Yeah, again, I still don't know how Pitford's got on that team sheet. I, I will... Ninety, uh, 90% sure that Pitford will start a big game against Iceland if it goes ahead. But don't forget, we might not be able to play it due to the UK being in lockdown. But if it goes ahead, watch out. Jordan Pitford will be in goal for England. I'll... You know, as I said, I'm probably 90% sure of that happening, so watch out for that. Obviously, Premier League predictions will be coming up next week. Can't wait for the Premier League to get back. And, you know, a lot of games between now and uh, in the new year, so there'll be a lot more predictions coming up, a lot more videos like this coming up. But anyway, guys, I've got to bring this video to an end. Guys, you know what to do. Give us a big rock thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Shout out for that.